Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Inno TV. Today we're excited to talk about InnoDisk methods of backing OS up. As we all know, OS is essential to almost all computer systems, which provides computer hardware, software resources, and common services for all computer programs. Knowing that OS is so important to all our customers, InnoDisk has launched or about to launch a variety of OS backup and recovery products. So today, we're glad to have our product manager, Daniel, here from Flash department to have a brief introduction of all of them. That's welcome, Daniel. OK, thank you, Rita, for having me here. I'm Daniel from Flash department. And in this sector, I'm going to introduce you with all four of our products which are capable of backing up your precious data. So first, I'm going to start with iCover. So what is iCover? iCover is InnoDisk software level applications which can make your partitions into a Win image file for later recovery. So what do you need to use this iCover? First of all, a workable USB drive that exceeds the capacity of the selected partitions for later recovery usage. Secondly, your OS must be Windows-based and the newer than Windows 7, Windows Embedded Standard 2009, and PostReady 2009. We also have Linux version of iCover for you to use as well. Thirdly, InnoDisk storage for later OS recovery. OK, so what is the major advantage of iCover? First of all, it is very efficient. It is capacity saving and only backup real files. So for example, if you select it to backup a 10 gigabyte partitions, which consist of five gigabytes of actual files, then the Win image file will be no bigger than five gigabytes with the um, adopted of InnoDisk compression technologies. Second of all, it is very uh, efficient and easy to use to move your existing OS partitions to newly acquired InnoDisk drive. Okay. okay, in this part, I'm going to introduce you with iRAID. So what is iRAID? iRAID is a RAID management software which can be used with InnoDisk RAID cards and it allows you to monitor and manage disk array status and smart uh, status of individual disk within the array. Okay, so what we'll be needing to adopt this, you will need um, our InnoDisk hardware RAID card, of course. Okay, and what are the advantage of iRAID? So first of all, it is very user-friendly. It has a GUI interface which can help users to monitor and configure RAID status easily. Second, instant error notification. If something goes wrong with your disk array, if you are not present, you will be alerted either via email or other signals so that you know that there's something wrong with your RAID and you better give it a look. Okay. Thirdly, reach smart information. iRAID can use uh, can help user to get the information of each and each of the individual disk so that you will keep a constant look you will re realize the actual status of individual disk instead of the RAID as a whole. Okay. Lastly, it is easily to use when you need to change the RAID settings. So by iRAID you can switch between RAID 0, RAID 1 or other level of port multiplier easily. Okay. So next, we are going to introduce you with InnoH SSD, and this is something very special that we're cooking up within our company. So we developed this InnoH product line with deep cooperation with Microsoft by integrating their AIoT microcontrol unit, Azure Sphere, into our SSD to enable over the internet management features. Okay, so in short, user can communicate with either Ethernet or Wi-Fi with our SSD to give commands such as backup, recovery, and uh, other predestinated command, and our SSD will follow and execute it. So this family of inner age will be consisted of 2.5 inch SSD, M.2 2280, as well as MSATA in first batch. Okay, so what do you need to use our InnoH SSD? 
So currently, we focus heavily on the remote management features of InnoAge SSD. So an active Angel account will be needed to utilize remote management features. Also, our disk will need constant power provided by your whole system so that InnoAge will stay alive, stay awake, and uh, maintain a constant connections to you via the internet. Okay. Lastly, link of reset pin to InnoAge. So if your OS is damaged and recovered through in, uh, InnoAge features, our disk will have the capability to reboot your whole system, making everything normal again. So what is the major advantage of InnoAge SSD? Remote out-of-band backup and recovery capability, which can resolve remote system maintenance issues. Secondly, LBA to LBA backup, where OS type is not an issue. InnoAge provides full capability. Thirdly, we provide Wi-Fi or Ethernet connectivity for you to use. Lastly, status report of constant SSD health and system overall steadiness check through Azure Sapphire connections. Okay, in the last part of our session here, I'm going to introduce you with Inno OSR product line. So what does Inno OSR stands for? OSR stands for on-site recovery or operating system recovery. Just like its name, we developed this series to deal with OS backup demand as well. Think of it as a standalone Inno Edge. So we cut out the internet and the remote management part of InnoAge and leaving the crucial OS backup capability for you to use. So what will you be needing if you want to use our InnoOS SSD? First, you'll be needing a Linux or Windows system to pre prepare the backup at first. Then you can either trigger the recovery functions by a cable with button or other GPIO method to trigger this command. Okay, so what is the major advantages of Inno OSR SSD? So first of all, it is very user friendly. We'll provide Inno OSR tool for you to use and uh, make up the backup files and backup file management. Secondly, it is easy to trigger. Go fingers and GPL pin headers are ready for you to use. And thirdly, LBA to LBA backup as well, where OS type is not an issue, or in OSR also provide for capability. So above four items are today's topic, which are all capable of saving your precious data. And thanks Rita for having me here for these introductions. Thank you, Daniel, for the introduction. I believe we all learned a lot today. So for more comprehensive product information, just click through the link we put below. And if you have any further questions or inquiries, uh, please contact us via our official website. We'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. And last but not least, don't forget to subscribe our channel in NoTV and press like and share this video to your colleagues and friends. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.